one of Fells Point's earliest and best known citizens, and indeed the fellow who really ultimately gave Fells Point its name, William Fell, was a shipbuilder in England. And uh, when he came to, uh, to the New World uh, and saw this deep water harbor, immediately set up shipbuilding operations. And that was the, the mainstay of Fells Point for a long time to come. William Fell settled in Fells Point about 1731. So one of his kids, he named Edward Fell after his brother. And uh, so he grew up, and I guess there still weren't too many people because he married his mother's niece, Anne Bond. <laughs> so they were keeping it in the family. <laughs> anyway, Edward Fell, the son, had inherited his father's property, William Fell's property, when William Fell died in 1741. If you can picture that little town of Fell's Point, it wasn't a town, it was just, uh, just a big farm. And Edward and his wife lived there and improved it. And they built it into a mansion. So in 1763, Edward and his wife, Anne, laid out a town. And once they started selling off the land, Edward dropped dead. And so Anne Bond fell. It was up to her. And she went out and she sold Fells Point. Now, Baltimore Town, further up the harbor, Baltimore Town was still selling off lots. And uh, Anne just went right ahead of them. And the people in Baltimore Town started saying bad things about Fells Point and about Anne being crooked and not giving good titles and had bad water and all this stuff. But her father, John Bond, he advertised in the Gazette and Daily Advertiser that everything that Anne Bond said about Fells Point he was staking his reputation on because it was true and that it was good. And sure enough, by 1773, in 10 years, she had sold off all the land in Fells Point. Baltimore still had lots for sale from 1752. So she was a good promoter. The glorious time for Fells Point in shipbuilding was the time between the Revolutionary War and, uh, and sometime just before the Civil War. Fells Point began building its famous privateers at that time. A couple of hundred privateers came out of the Baltimore area uh, during the American Revolution. And when you consider the, the size of Baltimore at that time, the size of Fells Point, then that's pretty remarkable. Uh, privateers and letters of mark were vessels, private armed vessels or merchant ships, but they were licensed to prey on enemy shipping. They were legal pirates. And as Fells Point grew as the deep water port for the region, the population grew and it became more and more of a separate town and a town with some power because there were a great number of um, merchants here in Fells Point. In the 1790s and early 1800s, there were a lot of very well-to-do people living in Fells Point. A series of plagues had swept through. In this case, we know it was yellow fever. Uh, and, and malaria from the fens and from the uh, bogs, the mosquitoes living in the, in the low grounds by the shipyards. People didn't know that at the time. So the well-to-do families fled. And what was left was sailors and immigrants and poor folks. The uh, well-to-do merchants of Baltimore, led by the Smith family, became quite jealous of the growing Fells Point and the growing independence of Fells Point. Back in 1794, yeah, 94. The uh, legislature authorized the incorporation of Baltimore City. But it didn't happen until 1797. And why was that? Well, the reason for that is Powell's Point didn't want any part of it. Just across the street from me, the founding fathers of Fells Point met at the London Coffee House to decide whether to join Baltimore City. And I guess they were correct in doing so, but I think Fells Point would, would actually, if it had just stayed a, a separate incorporated city, that things might, it might be different. Even now, I mean, now it's seen as kind of the engine of Baltimore, but it, 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 it's very capable of sustaining itself and it was then. And so in January the 1st, uh, 1797, the city of Baltimore came to exist. Even today, there's this animosity of Fells Point. 
towards the city of Baltimore. And one of the basics of it is that it's always been treated as, as sort of a, just another uh, district or, or minor part of Baltimore without much political statue or, or power whatsoever. 